Hello again, this is a crash course in circuit theory and now we're going to analyze uh, this basic series electrical circuit. Uh, this series electrical circuit um, is used by me as a tool to ex explain probably 80% of all circuit design. Maybe hard to imagine, but this simple circuit here really encompasses or covers about all of the major design issues even with complex circuits. So using this as a starting point for understanding will help you with your senior project circuits. I'm not going to analyze this circuit in a traditional fashion. You know how to do that. If I give you values for these individual components, you will be able to solve for current or voltage. What I would like to do is I would like to show you this circuit in terms of a system. So I have divided this circuit into major categories. Category number one is source. Over here is a source, meaning it is a source of electrical energy. Um, normally this would be an adapter or a battery or maybe even a solar panel, but some way to uh, give energy or some device or component that produces or is a source of energy. Now I have three elements here that are typical in any source that's used in electrical systems. Uh, the source of energy itself, uh, the loss of energy, and also some protection device in case the energy that is provided by the source is more than what it is specified for. So it can protect itself. So within this one unit, I have uh, the actual source of energy. I have an element of loss and I also have an element of safety. So when you're designing an electrical system you have to think about these three things. Now over here is the goal. The goal for this electrical system is to operate or to create light. So I have a name for this. This is called the load. The load for my system. However, if you notice, I have put two elements over here. I have the load itself along with an additional resistor. This is mainly because sometimes the source of energy is more than what the load actually needs. So we need some kind of element to reduce that load or reduce that energy to the value that's required by the load. So I have what I call some type of control element there. And of course I have the actual load itself. So at this point now we have five different things in this circuit. We have a source, we have loss, or we have a safety component, we have a control element. In this case the resistor will help control the level of the current as well as the load it itself which utilizes the energy. On this top branch here I have a switch and I have what we call a variable resistor or a potential meter. This word comes from the word potential and meter. Meter means to either measure or to control the amount. I need to meter in the amount of energy that I want for the lamp. Okay. So I have two control elements and those control elements consist of a switch and also 
pot or a potential meter. Two control elements here, switch and potential meter. The switch being an on-off control element and the potential meter being a level control element. I'll talk more about that in detail. And finally, down here at the bottom, which is actually located throughout the entire circuit, but I've only indicated it at the bottom to highlight its importance. I call these transfer. Transfer elements. Because the energy has to start and reach the load in some form. So we use wire and connectors. We use wire and connectors to help transfer the energy from one location to another. So in this system, we have source, which could be a battery. Uh, we have an internal resistance, which attributes to the loss of energy, which basically tells us that this battery cannot provide infinite amount of power. There must be a limit. We have a safety element involved, a fuse. Over on this side is our load, which consists of a control resistor. And the load itself, you know, the final goal for the circuit. And up here is the control elements that we will use to determine when and how this lamp will operate. In the next video, I will go into more detail about the two control elements.